Scissors bite, 10 years after 9 months treatment in 56 years old woman. Over eruption of the molars and premolars has led to severe scissors bite. Scissors bite is the term used to describe the condition when the upper molars are positioned outward, or the lower molars are positioned inward so that the molars miss each other and overlap when the mouth is closed. Let's see this treatment of deep bite and spacing of 9 months in adult. On the OPG there was bone loss around over erupted teeth and TMJ was unexpectedly without any problems. There was no significant bone reduction elsewhere despite 56 years of age. There was a traumatic deep overbite and diastema, a gap between maxillary central incisors. In April 2012 braces were bonded, note the bite blocks on the opposite side of the scissors bite. The scissors bite has been corrected in two months by crisscross elastics a palatal minisrew. This has led to extrusion of the right molars, which helped in deep bite correction. In September reduction of bite blocks happened to the normal height of occlusion. Space closure by power chains after some IPR in the mandible. In November 2012 debonding and fixed retainers. Ready for prosthetic restorations of the left molars. Note the development of gingival recessions 10 years after treatment, she is 67 years of age. This is because of fixed retainer failure and twisting effect. On the right side scissors bite is clearly visible. Bonding of braces, note the bite blocks on the opposite side of the scissors bite. The scissors bite has been corrected in two months by crisscross elastics. This has led to extrusion of the right molars, which helped in deep bite correction. Reduction of bite blocks and counterclockwise rotation of the mandible. Space closure by power chains after some IPR in the mandible. Debonding and fixed retainers. Ready for restorations of the left molars. Note the development of gingival recessions 10 years after treatment, she is 67 years of age. On the left side view note, the height of bite blocks is necessary to allow correction of the scissors bite on the right side. In November 2012 restoration of abraded molars during their function to their normal height was accomplished. Braces were removed and fixed retainers were placed. There is no significant bone loss on the OPG 10 years after the treatment. On this cephalometric superimposition on the stable structures according to ABO guidelines before the treatment, and 10 years after, one can see how the difference in facial height changed the profile and the position of the mandible.